couple of my wanderers. I put jackets on. Just because it is hunting season and, you know, they kind of look like a coyote. Or a fox. So just so people know. To leave these guys alone. I've ordered a couple more jackets for the rest of these guys. But they won't be here for another three weeks. Because my other explorer... Grundy! Juvia gets mad when the other dogs break the rules. So she's telling him, hey, don't go so far. Hi, Grundy. Yeah. You're my big baby. Little baby. Big baby. I have to go check on the pups. You guys run around for a bit. You got all this space. I'll be back soon. Hello, Mama. Hello, babies. Can I come in? Okay, thank you. Nice toy you got there. Very nice. Oh, and those are your babies? Nice babies you got there. You babies ready for today? Ready for some training? <laughs> No, I want to stay in bed all day today, too. I know the feeling. We got this, guys. Denali and Fiji look pretty similar, except for uh, Fiji has a slightly bigger white paw. But they're twinning. So Elberus is a slightly lighter gray, or slightly lighter tan than his brother Fitzroy. He's a little bit more uh, rich in color, and Fitzroy has the, the bigger white spot on his chest. I know, you guys are tired. They're very similar, but those are the, the telltale signs to tell them apart. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. And Jaro's the only black. Yeah, it's tough being a pup. And then we're gonna do some ENS training. Uh, ENS is early neurological stimulation training. It's a process that we start uh, when the puppies are about uh, three days old, um, where we introduce mild stressors in a very controlled way. Uh, these stressors can help stimulate the neurological system, which can improve growth and development in the puppy's immune system and their stress tolerance. Um, so when the puppies do go to their new homes, they're able to adjust to new stressors uh, a bit easier, which is easier for the new owners and easier for, for puppy. So there's a few things that we do here uh, to do our ENS training. Um, and I'll explain them here in the video.
One of the things is you hold them uh, directly up, you hold them on their back, you hold them upside down. He was having a hard time. You tickle their paws. Um, and then for ESI, we introduce them to a new scent. Another thing that we do is we put them on a cool cloth. Uh, puppies at this age cannot regulate their own temperatures. So it just introduces them to that mild stressor of being on something that's, that's not warm. When I was doing Jaro's wellness check, I noticed something. Let's see if he'll, he'll let us show. Okay. You ready? No? Okay, okay. He's not ready to show us. We'll have to wait a little bit. No, and it wasn't his superb walking skills that he wanted to show off. Can you see it? He has a little eye open. He's ready to show us now. See the eye? He's starting to see the world. So proud of you, buddy. Here you go, you go back to sleep now. Sorry for waking you. Never wants to be alone. I'll be out soon, Willick. I'll be out soon. You can manage a couple minutes without me. Go on. Be gone. If you couldn't tell from that door, this wall, we're renovating. So, we have no baseboards, no trims, holes in walls. The joy of moving. All right, it's uh, lunchtime 2.0. Everybody's hungry. I just wanted to kind of quickly explain what ENS and uh, ESI. <laughs> you know they'd have more room if you were laying down. I just quickly wanted to explain what ESI or early scent introduction training is. It's a training program for puppies to help um, enhance their ability to identify and react to specific scents. Um, each day we introduce them to a new scent and we kind of uh, uh, judge their responses. Puppies can have a negative response, which they pull away. They don't want to be near the smell at all. A neutral response, which really means they're not really pulling away or, or moving away from it. Moving away or pulling towards it or they can have a positive response, which means they're trying to get closer to the smell um, and they, they seem to enjoy it. I just wanted to show you a couple of the scents that we've, we've done over the past, past days, um, just so you can kind of get an idea of what we've been um, introducing the puppies, the puppies to. Let me see if I can turn this a little bit so you can see a little bit Everest and me, because I'm sure y'all don't want to see just me, you want to see some pups too, eh? Ow. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That hurt. Ooh. I hurt my elbow. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. There you go is a tennis ball. So there's little pieces of cut up tennis ball in there. Um, and you're able to see a few of their reactions. Some of them 
so I really enjoyed smelling the tennis ball. Um, when I think it was Jaro, didn't so much enjoy it. Others are pretty neutral. Yesterday was oregano. The day before that was cat hair. We also have uh, cinnamon. We have sage, rosemary, grapefruit, lemon, basil, coffee, and tomorrow will be pine uh, for the 12th day. Come in to check on them ever? <laughs> okay, you just want some tension? You just want some attention, some love? Okay, okay, more pets, more pets. <laughs> okay. We'll see you next week. Right, Ever? <laughs> okay, we'll see you next week.